Hi, I'm Steve Wahlberg, director of Whitehorse Media. If you're like most people, you cannot help but wonder what's really going on behind what news organizations keep telling us. In other words, why are we seeing such bizarre weather, so many deadly disasters, such senseless violence, gross immorality, and even strange new killer diseases? The truth is, the only way to make sense of global events is to discern the spiritual conflict now raging between the forces of good and evil. That fierce battle is described inside the pages of the world's all-time best-selling book, which is the Holy Bible. If you've never read this book, or even if you have, this is a sincere, warm invitation from me to you to check out a new, absolutely free, eye-opening online Bible school that will teach you critical information about world events, the future, and above all, how we can find calm, peace of mind in this totally chaotic, stressful world. Again, it's totally free, and you can learn everything right inside the privacy of your own home. The Bible is a large book made up of 66 smaller books. Its last book is called The Book of Revelation. Just listen to a little of what this incredible book says. Chapter 1, verse 7 says, Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him. Chapter 13, verse 3 says, All the world wondered after the beast. And then chapter 17, verses 1 and 2 says, Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and talked with me. And he said to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Chapter 21, verse 4, 4 and 5 says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, nor shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write this down, for these words are true and faithful. Chapter 22, verse 10 says, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. And finally, in verse 17, at the very end of Revelation, we read that the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him who hears, let him say, come. And who, whoever is thirsty, let him come and take from the water of life freely. Does drinking the water of life and having eternal life sound good to you? It sure does to me. According to this ancient book, which has been around for over 2,000 years, big changes are soon to come upon this world. And the question is, are we ready for them? To help you, your family, and your loved ones face the future with confidence, check out whitehorsemediabibleschool.com. That's whitehorsemediabibleschool.com. An amazing journey is waiting for you there for free. If you take a step, click, and begin that journey, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching.